It is very kind of Andreas to ask me to say a few words today and I feel very honoured and humble. And we did visit Saint Bostel two years ago. I am Celia Webb Carter, the daughter of Neville Wigram. My father was in the Grenadier Guards who liberated Saint Bostel. I'm now going to ask my husband Evelyn, who was also in the Grenadiers, to read the following account that Daddy wrote. On the 28th of April 1945, the Second Armoured Battalion Grenadier Guards was near Zeven awaiting orders to advance to prevent all German troops from crossing the River Elbe and entering Schleswig-Holstein. The Grenadiers were facing very fierce opposition and found all roads to be blocked or cratered and all bridges blown. We knew that there was a prisoner of war camp at San Bostel and we were planning to relieve this but unexpectedly two French prisoners of war had escaped and told us that since our crossing of the Rhine at the end of March about one third of the camp had been taken over by the SS for political deportees. There were now 8,000 prisoners of war and 14,000 deportees, mostly French. Since the 5th of April, 2,500 deportees had died, and now that they were inflicted with typhus, 500 were dying each day. Liberation and medical assistance was urgently needed. It was understood that there would be little opposition from the prison staff. On the 28th of April, the Grenadier Group comprising the King's Company, 1st Battalion, and Number 2 Squadron, the 2nd Armoured Battalion, in Sherman tanks, accompanied by a team from the Royal Army Medical Corps, advanced towards San Bostel. The camp was situated on the other side of the River Oste. All the bridges had been blown, and the river bank on the campsite was steep and wooded. Our infantry met very strong opposition, and obviously needed tank support. The Royal Engineers came to build a bridge, and also brought collapsible boats. As they were working, the enemy fired mortars on them, so that they were not able to complete the bridge before dark. We therefore decided to postpone our attack until the next day. When the bridge was completed, the tanks were able to cross the river. Now two more companies joined the King's Company, and supported by Number 2 Squadron, they advanced towards the camp. They killed all the SS, and unfortunately six grenadiers were killed, and several wounded. The camp was now definitely liberated, and the medical team was able to enter the huts. Much publicity has been given to describe the conditions within the concentration camps at Belsen and Buchenwald, but it was considered that life in San Bostel was just as bad. Neville Wigram, 5th of April, 2015. He spoke about it at other times, the appalling sights they had witnessed, the evil of the enemy, the suffering in conditions of disgusting cruelty, the bravery and courage of those in the camp. It left a lasting memory. My parents wanted me and my siblings to know about Saint Bostel. On a happier note, in 1978, they spent a remarkable and wonderful weekend at Caen. They loved it, and they were very humbled by everyone's gratitude. Daddy made a very special friend who he was in touch with until he died in 2017. I was born on April the 23rd, 1945, the week of the liberation at saint Bostel. And I must end by saying that I'm very proud of my father and he'd had the honour to command the Grenadier Group. Thank you so much for letting me join you all today. <laughs>